Downloading and Uploading Files in eConestoga. This video will demonstrate some tips for accessing your course content and uploading files for assignments in eConestoga. After logging into eConestoga and navigating to your course content, you can download your course files for review or to print out. This is very easy to do. Depending on the file, you will have some different options. If it is a PDF, a text file, or an embedded Word document, it is recommended to download the file directly to your computer, especially if you would like to print it. To do this, click on the link in your course content module. Then, click on the download button at the top or the bottom of your document. This will pop the file into the downloads area of your browser. From there, you can open it using the appropriate software. If you would like to print, perform the printing procedure as you would for any document in that software. If it is a PowerPoint presentation, you may see it appear as a PDF or a PowerPoint file. As before, click on the file link in your course content module, then locate the download button and download the file. Open the file in the appropriate software, save it to your computer, and or print it directly. To upload files to eConestoga, first navigate to the appropriate Assignment Submission folder. Then, after double-checking that your assignment is complete and that all of the assignment criteria are met, scroll down to the Submit Assignment section. Click on the Add a File button, then My Computer, then the Upload button to find and add your file. Once your file is added, click Add. Write any comments if necessary, and then click Submit. You will receive a confirmation message once the assignment has been submitted successfully. In this video, we demonstrated how to access and download files from your course content and how to upload files to eConestoga for assignment submission. If you have any questions related to eConestoga, Please use the Student Support menu in your course shell or contact your professor. If you have any other technical questions, please connect with the Teach Me Tech staff at the library.